Oh, the Steelers have moved up to 14. The Jets were going to be able to get Broderick Jones. I honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen right now. Uh, we're just sitting here waiting for the Steelers pick to come in. The Packers, like, they did the thing, and then they took Lucas Van Ness. That's great for the Jets, but Pittsburgh has been telegraphing that they have wanted to come up for an offensive tackle. Christian Gonzalez is still here. Let's see what the Steelers do. And budge! The Pittsburgh Steelers traded up. Roger Goodell just announced it. They've taken Broderick Jones, the offensive tackle out of Georgia. Uh, 15 is for sale, I guess. With Will Levis still on the board, you got to trade back and get somebody. Let's see what happens. What is up, guys? <clears throat> the New York Jets are on the clock. We're going to react live to whatever it is that they do here. Honestly, going into this pick, <clears throat> I'm devastated. Seeing the Steelers come up uh, in front of the Jets to take Broderick Jones, the guy that we wanted to get, the guy that we were going to get in the first round, absolutely sucks. And you can tell that the New York Jets are really trying to trade back. With Will Levis still on the board here, you got to try to move back. You got to try to get some assets. Do the Minnesota Vikings want to come up? Do the Tampa Bay Buccaneers want to come up? There are teams out there that, you know, can absolutely come up and do it. But getting a player here just doesn't seem like the right move. But if the Jets do stick and pick, if the Jets do put their card in, like, who are they targeting? Is it JSN? Is it Kalijah Kansi? Like, I'm not in love with the pick here at 15. I wouldn't be mad if we went any of those ways. But we got to see what's happening. They're showing the, the Jets' war room right now. It seems like they're making the pick that they're calling the person to, to let uh, know who the pick is and everything like that. They're talking to, you know, everybody and all of that stuff in that situation. But let's see what happens. All the tackles are gone. The New York Jets adjust. It seems like they've made the pick. Uh, but I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. Again, we're going to react live here, let you know my my thoughts, my inner thoughts, what I really think is going to happen, and uh, <clears throat> we'll see We'll see what's happening. And, yep, it looks like the Jets are making the pick. They're letting this wind all the way down. Seems like it's a defensive player. Jeff Ulbricht looked really, really exciting. The pick is in. Oh... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Wow! The New York Jets took Will McDonald. Holy crap! Yo. Wow! This is insane. This is... This is crazy. Will McDonald is an insane athlete and is an absolute stud when you look at the edge presence and all of the stuff that he's going to provide. But what does this mean for Carl Lawson and his upcoming and impeding, like his contract? Does this mean that he's gone? We've got one of the best edge rooms in the NFL. <clears throat> Seriously, Will McDonald is a freak of an athlete. And I, I really, really like what he brings to this team. We're going to do a full breakdown on Will McDonald. If you guys watch my top five edges, Will McDonald was six on my board. He just barely didn't make it in. But this is a crazy pick by the New York Jets going off of everybody's board, not taking JSN, not taking Kalijah Kansi. What a pick by the New York Jets. Do I love this pick? No. Could you have traded back and gotten Will McDonald? Absolutely. But you can tell that the New York Jets tried everything in their power to move back. They couldn't do it. No one wanted to come up for the right price. They stuck and they got honestly a stud on the defensive line. Um, again, what does what does this mean for the interior of the defensive line? Does this mean that the New York Jets are getting offensive tackle in the second? These are questions that will be answered throughout the, the draft. But I can't say that I'm upset with the Will McDonald pick. Welcome to New York.